Hello, everyone. If you're a fan of little people, big world, you should fasten your seatbelts because things are heating up between Matt Roloff and Karen Chandler. Okay, let's dive in. Matt Roloff, star of the TV series Little People, Big World, may have been under some pressure to propose to his longtime girlfriend, Karen Chandler. After divorcing his ex-wife Amy Roloff, Matt has been dating Karen, who, interestingly, worked on the Roloff farm for a long time and managed the pumpkin patch before becoming Matt's assistant. There were rumors that the duo may have been having an affair before Matt's marriage to Amy ended, although both Matt and Karen denied the rumors. Despite their denials, Karen found it difficult to be accepted by the Roloff children. But guess what? In 2023, Matt and Karen announced their engagement and plans to tie the knot in 2024. After six years of dating, Matt finally proposed to her in their backyard in Arizona. Sounds romantic, doesn't it? But wait, there's more. First, let's talk about Karen's reluctance to live on the Roloff farm. She didn't want to be constantly reminded of Amy, and she wasn't thrilled about having her wedding there either. Matt's comments about how he feels about getting married again and Karen's hasty decision suggest that she may be more eager to get married than Matt. Karen Chandler just sold her house for a whopping $529,000. Yes, you heard that right. After Karen and Matt confronted their home plans in one of the episodes of Little People, Big World Season 25 while preparing for their wedding, Karen went ahead and sold her Oregon home. The couple's living arrangements have always been a topic of discussion since they started dating seven years ago, when Karen was living apart from Matt. Although they have not yet set a specific wedding date, Karen did not hesitate to sell her house, showing how ready she is to become Mrs. Roloff. Now, let's take a closer look at Karen's motives. Her statement that she will not live in Matt's house because they are not married yet shows how much she wants to make it official. She takes every opportunity to push Matt towards marriage. After the recent fight on the show and previous comments about their uncertain marriage plans, it's a little suspicious that Karen was in a hurry to sell her house. Even if she is planning to move in with Matt, waiting until all their plans are in place would be a wiser choice. And it gets even more interesting. Matt Roloff has admitted that he is scared of getting married again. Despite the hype surrounding their engagement, Matt's shocking confession got everyone talking. He shared his fears with his friend Ty and his ex-wife Amy's husband, Chris Merrick, saying he was petrified of the thought of marriage. Although he can't see himself with anyone but Karen, he is concerned about how their relationship might change once they are married. Matt's honest admission and his skepticism make us wonder if proposing to Karen was his idea. Karen didn't make Matt's life easy. She felt guilty about his new home, constantly reminding him of his marriage at every turn. When they went to an interior designer to help them decorate their new home, their differences over the interior were quite telling. Matt's idea of putting a large piece of barnwood in his office didn't sit well with Karen, who called it disgusting. But the most revealing moment? When Matt wanted them to work on the new house together, Karen said, we're not married. It's Matt's house and I'm just cohabiting it. This statement clearly shows how desperate she is to get married and how much pressure she is putting on Matt. Hopefully, Karen's intentions are pure and she's not just doing this for the wrong reasons, as some fans may suspect. Yeah, that's it. What do you think about Matt and Karen's relationship? Is Karen too pushy or is Matt just hesitant? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks to everyone who listened to us. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you never miss news about your favorite stars and shows. Until next time, I'm Julie and I'll see you in the next video.